Yeah, hey, how you doing? It's uh, it's me, Scott, your website superintendent. I, I got a call that said uh, you need some maintenance done on your website or something. Well, I guess uh, my schedule opened up, so here I am. Uh, in this episode of Hosted, I'll cover my top tips on maintenance that you should be doing yourself on an annual, quarterly, monthly, and weekly basis to avoid needing to call me in the future. So, no, no, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I just think that you know this could have been avoided. Um, can I can I leave my shoes on? Do you mind? <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> First up, annual maintenance. Hey. Every year, it's important to check in on some of your site's details and functionality. As websites, browsers, and just the culture of web design itself evolve, so too do the need for certain functionality and design approaches. For instance, not too long ago, the concept of mobile-friendly wasn't even a glimmer in a designer's eye as smartphones weren't around. But now they're everywhere, and everyone is always looking down at their screens, especially during my live comedy shows. <laughs> yeah. This idea of evolution carries on throughout every area of design, causing subtle shifts in the way things are done. So make sure to have some friends, or family, or enemies take a look at your site to make sure it feels current. On a more technical level, each year you'll also want to stay on top of your domain name renewal status by checking in with your domain registrar or setting up auto renewal. And lastly, double check that the info in your header, footer, and legal policies are all up to date. Next up, quarterly maintenance. Hey. That's every three months. <laughs> This is a good time to just double check the actual functionality of your site's features. If you have an e-commerce site, make some test purchases. Maybe you have a contact form. I mean, that's gonna need a good test message. Mm -hmm. You certainly have links throughout your site. Check those too. Hey. Throughout the course of a quarter, things happen. Maybe there's a bug in a plugin that needs to be updated or certain links linked to sites that don't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. It's good practice to shake all that out every three months. Continuing down the list, monthly maintenance. Just like replacing your AC filter in the summertime, these are things you should be doing monthly, but maybe sometimes you don't. Then when you finally do, the filter is just caked in dog hair. Oh. For your website, here's your monthly to-do list. First, check for theme and plugin updates. Developers will release updates, and if you're not set to auto-update, you may be opening yourself up to security issues. Once you're updated, check that your site is backing up properly both your website files and, if applicable, your database. You can manually back up your site with your HostGator cPanel or use a plugin like iTheme Security to automatically email yourself regularly scheduled backups. After you're all up to date, it's good practice to regularly run a speed test to make sure your site is loading crisply. Crisply. Check out Google's PageSpeed Insight tool for info on how your speeds stack up and how you can improve them. And finally, on a weekly basis, aside from publishing regular content and blog posts and managing comments, which you're all already doing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You should also be reviewing your key metrics, checking in on your SEO status, and reviewing what's working in terms of attracting visitors and guiding them down your conversion funnel. These concepts are weekly, yes, but could also be looked at as just regular ongoing management of your website. Depending on your goals and the type of site you have, this hands-on approach may not be necessary, but the more time you dedicate to it, the better your site will perform. Woo! And there you have it, my overview of regular maintenance that you should be keeping tabs on uh, as you make your site optimized and run smoothly. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, there's a leaky toilet down in 3B, so just like that toilet, I gotta run. <laughs> hey, it's a super joke. And it's a super joke. In our next episode, I'll show you how to fix the sink or whatever. <laughs> okay, go next. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Hey, all right. Hey, Mikey, who's your favorite your favorite basketball team? Uh, I, I really like the Thunder. Thunder. Yeah, Oklahoma City. I only know the Lakers. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's LA. All, that's, all, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Wow. <laughs> Not much of a basketball guy. Yeah. What about football? Do you watch football? No. I have a paintbrush though, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>